We're back on site in Fog Lane in 2022. Yay! Happy New Year! Hope you had a good Christmas. A lot of work's going on down here. Uh, on the floor heating guys have been grinded down, self-leveled, uh, ready for them to come and start fitting their castle at MMRA down. Um, Jones has been down, plastered everything down here. It's all dried out practically now. Boiler's still working. We've got some uh, floor return there for the other floor heating guys. Doors are still in, looking great. Lovely. Our, our concrete steps out there looking mint as well. We pulled them at the start of the year. Looking fantastic. Like I say, Jones has been down. A little bit to do still at the staircase areas, but other than that, we're looking great. He sort of blocked me in. All right, so we got up here somehow. Oh. Thanks, Jonesy. Right, let's go see our Pauline. Paul, how are we doing, mate? I'm all right, mate. Having a good Cheers, cup there. Sorry, it's a bit early, isn't it? Do but yeah, well, sorry. Uh, oh, he's covered our tiles up. Bloody hell, Paul. Yeah. Come on, my tiles up. Anyway, so Paul's cracking on my second fix this week. Rich and Andy have been to tile the um, back of the basin. Using a space for a small, thin basin. Looks fantastic, all in. I think he's checked it. Bog's in as well. Nice fitting. Yeah, there are the tiles there, under there. They're looking really nice. And a bit of panelling as well. Painted grey. Just painted white for time here. I don't know if they're going to change the colour or paper it yet. I'll keep it like that. I quite like it. It suits, make it bigger. Uh, he's going to second fix his radiator today. His pipes are already there. There's the rad. Looking really good. This is a really good space. We've already got a door to go on soon, so we'll second fix that. Uh, <laughs> like I say, Jones is cracking upstairs now. It's all boarded. He did that wall yesterday. Paul's just chilling out, you know what I mean? Jonesy, you all right, mate? How are we doing? No, I'm not. No? Oh. Why? I don't like this job. Oh. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> You know what door is, mate, if you need to go. But yeah, so Joe, just skim it, see you then. Yes, look at me. Yeah, brilliant. Look at him. Bit of skim. Don't, don't get it all over yeah. me. Oh but yeah, so he's looking great. Doors, still oh, trying to keep them clean. Let's jump outside. But a lot of work outside this year, me and the patio. So we started cornering up, me and Mick yesterday. A big raised patio to come up to the DPC at this level there. It's quite high, uh, about 12 courses with a bit of a brick on edge decorative looking brick um, which is going to look great tiles are already on site they're nice they're like a light grey bit of a like a pattern not a pattern but like a little feature to the tile uh, Tom the roof has been Tom and his lads fitting the rainwater pipes nice alley rainwater pipes there one there and then one into the steel one into the steel there so it's looking great so we're not going to get flooded now We've sort of got our drainage in, it's all under here, so there's our bottle gully one and two. Here as well. We've got one on the far side as well to collect. You can see, you can definitely see that one coming up, because like I say, it's coming up, so that'll be covered. And we'll have a collection there for a soak away drain, so nothing drains into the, uh, big pile. Uh, nothing drains into the uh, extension. Like I said, these steps, looking great. This is sort of uh, work we need to do. Drainage down here again. Uh, it's a bit of a storm drain, soakway as well for the doors. Uh, we're going to soon pour this, hopefully next week we'll be getting that done. Which will be great, so we've got something down there instead of just mud and crap again. This wall is looking fantastic, drying out really good as well. Uh, they're thinking, I think the tile in this, so tile down there, tile at the upstand there, on the wall itself. Tile all the, the treads and risers of the staircase, which is looking a little mint. Will look fantastic, brickwork still looking great, we'll get a wash down soon. But yeah, so everything's cracking at the moment. Like I said, there's a few, a few on site. Paul, Jones, he used to be still. So I think it's gonna look really good. So, let's get cracking.
day, Barrett. Here we are, Josh. Here we are. Last day. Ish. I sort of. Come back next week a little bit. <laughs> a little bit more to do. It's a bit dark in there, so we'll leave that. Quite I don't know. <laughs> Tell them what's going on. I thought the music would be in at this point. No, no, it's what you do for it. Right, so this is a, it's a huge extension we've done down in Digsbury. We've been working on for the last six months or so. Big kitchen delivery next week. So we've got <coughs> four to ceiling, cupboards, fridge freezers. Thanks, mate. Microwaves, uh, all your <coughs> appliances this side. You've got a big couple of ovens this side, big peninsula comes out to oof, about here. So your lights are centre, chairs each side. Big dining room with a nice TV on the wall, like a little snug with good lights, really high lights, spotlights everywhere. Big pendant there for the staircase, lovely glazing from our curtain wall, portrait window, and the bifold doors. We've painted the steel recently, but it's just completely and utterly changes the entire feel of the ceiling and the colours. Because that's going to match the kitchen when it arrives next week, I want to say. Yeah, right, again, up going there. Hey, Good, yeah. Uh, most of it's been painted, a little bit to do. Um, big, big, big skylight, two and a half metres by a metre there. This one's one by, I don't know, 12 by one, something like that. Uh, We'll go around down there. We've done the patio recently. Seen it on the vlog as well. Lovely, brick bonded, porcelain tiled, a big garden wall, a little sneak peek, and see the cladding. We'll go down there, it's been self leveled. The tiles will go down, same colour tiles which are here. Just to get a reference point, that is, they're not going to be like that, sort of brick bondish. Uh, so we'll go out and have a look outside. Yeah. Three next door there. Yeah. Make it so much noise for? Yeah, it's blown, it's blown right in. What was it? Back, back. The wind, we've got a storm with us, haven't we? Storm. So we've had storm. storm. Wait, what was the first one? Du Eugene. Dudley. No, the first one. Dudley. 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 Now Storm Eunice. Yeah. Eunice. It's a little bit. Eugene. 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 Anyway, I'm going outside back in the storm. I'm going to be freezing out here now. So, yeah, we've done, I've done our GRP outside as well. A little bit there, the grey, the grey coloured. We've put our um, our ply on the fascia for Tom. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Tom something roofing. Tom's coming to doing our uh, zinc, our zinc roofing on the side, uh, the fascia on the side there with the uh, nice aluminium window and the door we put in for the garage. Huge, massive. The EPC is quite high, so it means the gable is absolutely. Massive it's all up there with again the aluminium. So it's going to come back round down, down our face and run across. Wall, wall lights outside, security lights. Glenn's sorting some boards out for us. Can't really get through. So then this is the patio way. Absolutely, well, we've used it lovely. But it's, it is, it's absolutely lovely. We've used our bricks and our extension because it wraps and ties in lovely around the windows and the doors and it's perfect with the with the zinc roof that Tom's done for us like I say patio is lovely up our steps and then the cedar cladding wrapping round uh, our aluminium bifold doors which just absolutely it's a sh absolutely shot from there it's lovely and then that's not the end of it there because you walk round the garden big garden while we've tied it all not exactly appealing at the moment but the grass will be done in the summer when the weather gets better but that the glass and the and the curtain wall and it's just it's just fantastic it's been hard graft blood sweat and tears as we call it and then we've done this recently just a little upstand for our big our big uh, concrete wall we've done down our concrete steps with me a little bit of standing water this will get tiled again in summer a lot of work to do in summer with the weather and things so nice little course there through another set of aluminium doors oh, oh there you go a bit windy out there down towards the basement with just flip lights on it's not dark but um then we've got 
a living a, a living room down here, so I have a couch here down here with uh, some like units for you know your storage and stuff. A big media a wall there, and the TV. You already got the HDMI coming through and the plug socket, so there'll be that'll be mounted there with big units left and right for everything your DVDs and Sky and all your games and stuff. Like I say, with a good, really good light blue. Light view out there, spotlights everywhere. Uh, we'll come and do a staircase soon, measure that up. Um, little room in here, there's, I think there's a light somewhere. There we go. So, this is the, um, the washroom sort of like utility. So, the washer dryer up and down here with a little sink, uh, surface mounted sockets. Uh, just, you know, you. Little little rooms, room station over there that we use all the time. Uh, this is like our service room. So we've got boilers here. We've got boiler, new, new from the Sparks. Can't think what it's called, but that's it. <laughs> uh, we've got on the floor heating manifold up and down because we've got downstairs here in the basement everywhere, all round, and then up at the top floor again in the kitchen. So that's our on the floor heating manifold. You see the pipes going down the soft level there and up. The wall there, which we'll be back patching in soon. Little door for the storage cupboard in there. Quite a large storage cupboard for your things you don't want on show, basically. Um, door will go in here. We're gonna make a big, big reveal for the door each side, left and right. And it's just, it's just been really good to showcase this massive, massive job in Digsbury. And it just shows what we're capable, capable of, we put our minds to it and graft our blood, sweat and tears with the build and um the lights off and um it just shows what we can do we really put ourselves to it, it's got a bite size, big, big prop just like this you look at it and you think wow, how are you going to manage to do that between you know three, three years, five years with a couple of subbies that we've got you know, John's the pasta and Sparkies and gas engineers and things like that so it's just, there he is. That's who makes it work and tick over a big man. Right, pull it off now. But yeah, it just shows what we can do. And we put our, our, our mind to it and things like that. But it's Digsbury and it's been fantastic. But yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, woo! <laughs> but yeah, so it's lovely. This hard work has finally paid off, and and uh, and they brought him in. Mm. Great, lovely. Um, how am I getting out now? God, I didn't want to do it. Um, but yeah, no, it is, it's really good and satisfying that we can see it out of the storm and the rain and the poor weather that we've got in the you know, last couple, well, last week or so. Um, but it really is nice to see what, what we can do. We've got our minds to it. But yeah, so we'll get a few things snagged off, like I say. Um, doors, staircases, second fix of uh, joinery and stuff like that. Um, we've got to head off a little bit while some tiles go down, the flooring goes down. Um, our Tyler's doing that. Um, once we get all that down, we come back and second fix everything again. And then we can say goodbye for the final time. Um, and then we'll be into, into sail on a Barker's Lane, which should be fantastic. And that's another massive job again by our lovely architects at Art Form, which is, um, yeah, again, it's gonna be a good one. So hopefully you can stay around and we'll showcase the hell out of that again, as we always do here. And proper showcase what we can do and abilities, like I say. But yeah, for one last, one last time in this lovely weather we've got with the storms. Bloody hell. Come on, give me a break. God damn it. I'm going here. For one last time though. Just fantastic. What a, what a, what a, what a fantastic build we've done. I don't, that glass is just phenomenal. 
that form for you. Fantastic architects. Right, it's Friday, I'm going up. See you later.